Islanders looking for a little revenge in this one. It's center ice, Frederick Karlstrom on the opening faceoff. The puck comes this way. Rune used it as a pick, and now finds Mitchell. Home run pass out in front of McLaughlin. He's got to deal with Odellius. Real nice work with a rookie to steal it away, and then he gave it up, and they score. That caught Tekin in off guard. It was stolen back from Odellius above the left wing circle, and Mark McLaughlin fired a sharp wrister in for a 1-0 Bruins lead. 7.45 to go in the first period. An even strength goal for McLaughlin and the Bruins. A lead pass for McLaughlin that he took, got cut off by Odellius, used his body to steal it away, and then tried to poke it up to Terry. And the Railers are at home tonight against Maine as well. Here comes Lizell out of the box. New power, right circle, they score! Found an opening through the circle and towards the back of the net. Mark, Mark Gatcombe, the first one to the bench. It'll be a goal for the second straight game for Gatcombe, who got his stick on it just above the crease. And the Islanders have tied the game. Yeah, that one rode up off the blade of Mark Gatcombe just ahead of the crease. And the Islanders have tied it. Islanders and Bruins just opened up the second period here inside Total Mortgage Arena. Islanders with a goal in the first from Mark Gatcombe, who has scored now in back-to-back -back nights. Here's a takeaway, Gauthier to the front, Foody scores! <laughs> off the face-off, the Islanders come in, and Foody is set up by Gauthier. Forehand to the backhand, and he swung back into the forehand position and beats Brandon Bussey. Foodie gives the Islanders their first lead of the night. 15 seconds into the period. And what a move for Liam Foodie. Forehand, backhand, forehand. He tucked it home. Osterley waltzes to the doorstep. Hands it off. Letary back out high. Osterley shot produced a rebound. They score. Merkulov on the second chance to 2-2 hockey game and a power play goal for the Bruins. And they take advantage of the Gauthier hooking minor penalty. Providence power play had only scored two goals all season entering last night. They were dead last in the league, but they went two for five. And then Bargero races onto it. Chopped it across the neutral zone. Wyatt Newpower will touch it in. Right corner, eludes a hit, gets the puck back. Centers, they score! And it's Mark Gatcombe again! The Islanders retake the lead on Gatcombe's second of the game. Newpower to Gatcombe. And Mark Gatcombe's got a multi-goal game. It's a 3-2 Islanders lead. New power started it in down the near side. Chipped it to the corner, trying to slip past a hit. Gatcom got together with Lysel. And then the puck came to him just outside of the trapezoid. Merkulov to the front. Merkulov had the most recent Providence goal, which came on the power play. Here he is, taps to the slot. Letary back across, Tufty scores. What a play. That sequence of tic-tac-toe passing is as good as I have seen all year. And it winds up being Riley Tufty's goal. It's a 3-3 game, and the second power play goal for the Bruins in as many opportunities. Now the fifth time that the Islanders have allowed two or more power play goals in a single game this season. A minute to go in the second period. The puck wrestled away from Odellius, and they score shorthanded. Viel sent it to the front of the net after the puck was stolen from Cali Odelius, and it was slapped home by Georgi Merkulov, who's got his second goal of the hockey game. It's his second on special teams. The first came on the power play. This is 2-4, Islanders still on the power play. Here's Bolduc, the left circle, slap shot, kick back, rebounds, loose, they score! <laughs> William Dufour on the rebound, it's a power play goal to tie it at four. So the Islanders gave up 
The go-ahead goal short-handed, but a slap shot for Tice Thompson from the left circle was kicked away by Bussey's left pad. It angled right to Dufour, who shoots home the rebound for his second of the season. Thrown out front, Kutar. Good, got it to Merkulov. Mitchell, Merkulov, back to Mitchell, straight ahead. Shot tip, they score! Ian Mitchell, who took a shot off the knee earlier in this period and was very shaken up, returns, and here he scores a long-range shot that was tipped down between the circles. And I think that one went off of an Islander. Jeffries and Bolduf were both in the shooting lane and then thrown to the doorstep. Brown, the yell, trying to find the loose puck, comes up the slot. Mast across, shot, they score! Two quick ones for the Bruins. A almost impossible angle shot below the left circle for Vinny Letary. Gives Providence a 6-4 lead. And this one comes at 8.59 of the third period. The goal before that was at 8.17, so that's a goal that's only about 42 seconds after Quarterback that uh, set up, and he put it over to the left circle for Letary. Here come the Bruins back in. Pintlick slows, drags, leaves it, shot, they score! And that's three quick ones, and it's Farinacci this time. And what was a 4-4 to -four hockey game has now turned into a 7-4 to -four deficit. The Bruins have just scored three goals in less than one minute. They have just scored three goals in 56 seconds. And the Islanders are down three. Full fans on a cross ice pass, so in comes Tufty. He drops it off, and it's Farinacci to give the Bruins their eighth goal of the night. And the first player to score multiple goals for the Bruins is John Farinacci. He's got each of the last two. He scored at 9-13 of the third. And now he's got another one here at 11.24. Two goals for him in just over two minutes. 